Today, I'll show you how to enhance eyes in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link for today's image in the video description. So enhancing eyes is very easy. We just need to apply four simple layers. To start, I'm going to come to our adjustments and apply a brightness and contrast adjustment. We're going to use this adjustment to brighten up the eyes and add contrast. So go ahead and drag up on the brightness slider. I'm going to bring mine to around 40%. And then I'm going to add some contrast too. So I'll bring this to around 30%. All right, I'll go ahead and close out of that. And I only want this layer applied to the brightest areas of the eyes. So what I'm going to do is invert this layer by pressing Command or Control I. Now this layer is being applied to nothing. To reveal it on the eyes, grab the paintbrush tool and then switch your paint color to white paint. So I'm going to paint this on the iris area of the eye, avoiding the rim area and avoiding the pupil. With that painted on, now we can see the before and after of brightening up the eyes and adding that contrast. So the reason I wanted to avoid painting on the rims and the pupils is because I want those areas to stay nice and dark. In fact, I'm going to add a bit more darkness to the rims to do that, I'm going to go to our adjustments again and apply a brightness and contrast adjustment. And this time I'm going to darken just the brightness slider to around negative 30. Again, I'm going to invert this by pressing Command or Control I. And now I can go ahead and paint this around the rims of the eye. I'm going to use a bit of a smaller brush to do this because I don't want this to leak onto this lighter area that we just painted. And if you do accidentally paint too much, you can quickly change your paint color to black by pressing X on your keyboard, and then you can go ahead and remove the excess. I think this darkness really makes the eyes pop more by adding extra contrast. So now that we have the lighting taken care of, I want to add a little more saturation and color to these eyes. To do that, go to the adjustments and apply an HSL adjustment. So there are a few things that you can do with this adjustment, but the main one that I'm going to focus on is adding saturation to the eyes. I'm going to add about 27% saturation. And another thing that you can do on this step is you can adjust the hue if you'd like to. So you can totally change your eye color if you want to. Now, of course, everything else is changing, but we can go ahead and paint this directly on the eyes if you'd like to change her eye color. But for this image, I do like the color of her eyes, so I'm going to leave that one alone. To get it reset back to zero, all you need to do is double click on that little point on the slider. So I only want this saturation applied to the iris of the eye, so I'm going to press Command or Control I to invert it, and then making sure that I'm painting in white paint, I'm going to reveal this saturation increase on the irises of the eye. For this next part, I'm going to really zoom into the eye so we can see what's happening. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity to the eye to really bring out all of the detail in the iris. So go to our filters to do this, and then apply a clarity filter. Now filters are always placed as a child layer, so make sure to click and drag this to the top so that the clarity filter is being applied to everything. Then you can go ahead and increase the strength of the clarity slider. You can see the more I bump this up, the more detail is being added. I'm going to add around 70% for this. Then I'll press Command or Control I to invert that layer. And now we can go ahead and paint the clarity on the iris. 
Here's the before and after, and you can really start to see all of the different highlights and colors coming out of that iris. I'll do this on the other eye as well. So now I'm going to select all of the layers by holding down shift on my keyboard and clicking on the last one. And now you can see the before and after of this beautiful eye enhancement. And there we have it. Now you know the best way to enhance eyes. If you want to learn more affinity tricks, be sure to check out my free course in the video description, where you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.